Hi dear, today we will see the refraction through a rectangular glass slab. Okay, so last class what we have seen, uh, we have seen uh, how the light bends when it uh, when it passes from uh, rarer to when it passes from rarer to denser medium. When it passes from rarer to denser medium means what? It bend it bends towards the normal right it bend towards the normal when it pass uh, light rays enters from denser to rarer means it bends away from the normal right away from the normal so when it incident normally means there is no bending of light happening there right but refraction is taken place but no bending of light is uh, happening here. okay Today we will see the refraction through a rectangular glass slab. So, take a glass slab like this. Okay, a glass slab. So, refraction through the rectangular glass slab. We are taking a rectangular glass slab. So, this is your incident ray. Right? Incident ray. This is your incident ray. This is your incident ray. So, if you draw uh, normal to this point, this is your normal to point. Wait, this is your air. This is your rarer medium. And this is your glass. This is your denser medium. Right? Denser medium. And again, this is your air. Right? So, when it enters from rarer to denser, it will bend. The light will... Uh, actually, it has to pass through like this right since it, the medium is has been changed the path of the light is not in the uh, the path of the light is not same it may bend okay when it uh, enters from rarer to denser it will bend towards the normal this is your normal so it will uh, if there is no glass means glass lab means it will go straight like this since it uh, pass through the glass lab, it will bend towards the normal Okay, somewhat it is bent towards a normal. This is where angle of refraction. Okay, this is where angle of refraction. Okay, okay. So this is one of the refraction, and here in, when the light passes through rectangular glass slab, two refraction is taking place. This is one of the refraction from rarer to denser, and from denser to rarer. Denser to rarer. This is another refraction. Okay. See, if you draw. Now, this refracted ray act as a incident ray. Okay. It, act, it has act as a incident ray. This is your normal. So, when it moves from, when it passes from denser to rarer means, then it moves away from the normal. Actually, it has to pass like this, right. But, it will move away from the normal. It goes like this. Okay. So. So if it is forwarded like this. It will be like this. Okay. Okay. This is your. This is actually we can say this is the incident ray. But this I is equals to R. Why? Because these two lines are parallel lines. See. Uh, these two lines are parallel lines. Means the opposite interior angles will be equal. Right. For example this is theta means this is theta. So imagine this. This is this is a Z shape, right? This is a parallel line. So this R is equals to this I, right? Okay. The ray which is emerged out from the glass slab, this is called emergent ray. Okay. This is called emergent ray. Okay. This is incident ray, and this is your emergent ray. Okay, now I can say this angle of incidence, angle of incidence is equals to, I is equals to angle of emergent. Why? Because means, see, if you look, look at these rays, if it, if the glass slab is not present, the ray will pass like this. Okay, if you look at this, you can able to see these two lines are parallel to each other. Why means? Because the angle of incidence and angle of uh, Emergent is equal. Why? Because me. Why? Because because the 
extent of deviation that is bending of the light bending of the light uh, which happens between two medium there is a rarer air and the glass medium remains constant okay for particular ray of light okay for particular uh, color color of the light or ray of light this ref, uh, this uh, extent of bending of light that is either towards or uh, away from the normal remains constant okay how much percentage it is uh, bent towards the normal here also that the same percentage it bends away from the normal okay bends away from the normal so here this angle of incidence is equals to angle of uh, uh, this angle of emergence and it is parallel to the uh, ray light la, light ray when it is no when it is extended like this in the glass slab is not present actually the light rays will be parallel to this one okay so what happen actually it has to go like that because of this slab it is uh, the light is coming emerged out from here okay it is slightly shifted this slightly shifted no this is called lateral displacement okay this is the shifting of the light that is refraction through the rectangular glass slab okay so here so uh, this uh, shifting lateral displacement this this lateral displacement depends upon the medium pair of medium which medium it is uh, 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 refracted from air to glass or glass to uh, some some other things okay so for this air to glass it is constant so here the extent of the deviation bending of the light is uh, same for for this uh, for this pair of because for this pair because it moves from air to glass here glass to air again the medium to medium of transfer is same okay it's only its bending is uh, towards the normal or away from the normal the extent of the bending will be same for example here it 10 degree it is uh, bended towards the normal means 10 degree it moves away from the normal okay clear so here this uh, this angle of incidence is equals to angle of emergence and this lateral displacement depends upon the refractive index that refractive index is uh, that is the that is the extent of bending of the light it differs for different medium and uh, for different rays of light okay so this is the refraction of rectangular glass slab why i am saying the, uh, these two are equal means because of the uh, medium uh, the uh, Um, the medium in which it takes place both are same here the rat uh, air to glass here glass to air both the mediums are same so the extent of uh, deviation is also same so we can say this how much uh, the bending how much bending taken place in this uh, parallel is equals to the how much of bending takes place in this uh, opposite parallel sides okay only it is it is taking in opposite direction it is towards the normal it is away from the normal that is the thing okay so this is the refraction through the rectangular glass tub so it is clearly drawn here so this is a incident ray this is a refracted ray here the refracted ray act as a uh, incident ray that is two uh, two refraction taking place when through the rectangular glass tub so uh, this is a rarer medium this is also rarer medium this is a glass slab which is a denser medium this is a lateral displacement lateral displacement is nothing but the perpendicular distance between the two rays okay light rays okay this is actually uh, a path of the light rays when it pass through the rectangular glass slab it emerged out from here so some there is a shifting of the light rays this is called your lateral displacement okay so here what is happening here here refraction takes place twice first light enters from glass slab from air okay so it bend towards the normal in the second case the light rays exist from the glass slab to the air from the glass slab to the air okay so the ray emerging from face cd so i have marked here this is a b c d for your reference okay the ray emerge out from the face cd is parallel to the incident ray but shifts slightly sideways see this ray emerge out from the glass slab is parallel to the incident ray but only slightly shift sideways side lens okay 
Why? Why? Because the extent of bending of the ray of light at opposite parallel faces, AB and CD of the slab is equal and opposite. Okay? The extent of bending of the light. How much light it? Uh, how much? Uh, how much percentage is bent in this side when it passing from here to here? When it passes through the side AB, how much percentage it bends? The same percentage it uh, deviates away from. Away moves away from the normal. Okay, but in opposite direction, it is it is moving like this. Here in this direction, it is moving like this. Okay, but same extent, but in opposite direction. Okay, because the extent of bending of the ray of light at opposite parallel faces AB and CD of the slab is equal and opposite. Clear? So lateral displacement. What is meant by lateral displacement? The perpendicular distance. That is, we have to measure like this. The perpendicular distance, not like this. Okay, the, not like this. This is the perpendicular distance between the two light rays. The perpendicular, the perpendicular distance between the emergent ray and the incident ray. Incident ray is directly when there is no slab, it will directly pass through that, right? And the emergent ray from where it comes out from the slab. See. This is your incident ray. This is your incident ray. And this is the actual ray which emerged out from the glass. So the perpendicular distance between these two things. So the perpendicular distance between the emergent ray and the incident ray. When the light passes out of the glass lab is called lateral displacement. Okay. This lateral displacement. How much percentage it is displaced. How the light is displaced. Displays depends upon the refractive index of the glass slab. Okay, it depends upon the refractive index of the glass slab and the thickness of the glass. How much thick it is. If the thickness is greater, then the lateral displacement will also be greater. When the refractive index is greater, then the uh, lateral displacement will also be greater. Clear on this? So, this is your uh, refraction through rectangular glass, uh, glass slab. So, what is happening there? Two, uh, two refraction is taking place, one from rarer to denser and one another from denser to uh, rarer medium based on the refractive index. What is the refractive index is nothing but the extent of bending of the light for the pair of medium. For example, when it is between the air and the uh, glass slab or between the air and the plastic, the refractive index may differ. But it is a constant for each pair, each pair, sorry, each pair of uh, media okay so based on the refractive index this, this refractive index will study in detail in the next classes okay refractive index based on the refractive index uh, uh, this uh, lateral displacements will take take place this lateral displacement is nothing but your perpendicular distance uh, between the incident ray and the emergent ray okay that's all for this class thank you